For this video, I'm going to assume that you already know how to solve one and two step equations. If you want to revise these topics first, you'll find links to my videos on them in this video's description. If we look at this equation here, the letter x is the unknown, is the value we're trying to find when we solve the equation. At the moment, there are unknowns on the left side of this equation, but not the right hand side. The right hand side just has 21. If, however, we introduce this term here, you can now see that we have an unknown on the left and an unknown on the right side of the equation. It's this type of equation we're going to solve in this video. In order to solve this equation, the first thing we're going to do is eliminate the term on the right hand side that has the unknown. So that's this 2x here. We'll do this by subtracting 2x from both sides of the equation. When we subtract 2x from the left hand side of the equation, you only subtract the 2x from the 5x and not the 6. So it's 5x subtract 2x, which is 3x. And then we have plus 6, which doesn't change. On the right side of the equation, we do 2x subtract 2x, which is 0. So those terms cancel out, and we're just left with the plus 21, which we can write as 21. What we've done here is turn this into a normal two step equation, which you should already know how to solve. We need to deal with this plus 6 here by subtracting 6 from both sides. On the left hand side, the 6s will cancel, so we have 3x. And on the right hand side, 21 subtract 6 is 15. Then finally, because of this 3 here, we can divide both sides by 3. On the left hand side, 3x divided by 3 is 1x. And on the right hand side, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the solution to this equation is x equals 5. So after we do that first step, where we eliminate the 2x from the right hand side, it just turns into a two step equation. Let's have a look at another example. So for this example here, we're going to eliminate the 3x. We'll do this by subtracting 3x from both sides. On the left hand side, we'll do 7x subtract 3x, which is 4x. And we leave the negative 5 as it is. On the right side, 3x subtract 3x is 0, so those terms cancel. And we're just left with plus 19, which we can write as 19. Then we solve the two step equation in the usual way. Because of this subtract 5 here, we're going to add 5 to both sides. On the left hand side, negative 5 plus 5 is 0, so we just have 4x. On the right hand side, 19 plus 5 is 24. Then because of this 4 here, we divide both sides by 4. 4x divided by 4 is 1x, and 24 divided by 4 is 6. So x is equal to 6. In this next example, there's an error that many students make. We're going to start by eliminating this 4x on the right hand side, by subtracting 4x from both sides. On the left hand side, 9x subtract 4x is 5x. Then we have the plus 15. And on the right side, 4x subtract 4x is 0. So those terms cancel and we're left with negative 20. That's because of this subtraction sign here. The common mistake that I see here is students just write 20, but it's actually negative 20 and needs to be, otherwise you will get the answer wrong. Now we continue solving the two-step equation in the usual way. Because of this plus 15, we'll subtract 15 from both sides. On the left-hand side, the 15s will cancel, so we have 5x, and on the right-hand side, negative 20, subtract 15 is negative 35. Then because of this 5, we divide both sides by 5. On the left hand side, 5x divided by 5 is 1x. And on the right hand side, negative 35 divided by 5 is negative 7. So that's the solution to this equation. Next, we're going to have a look at an equation that has a key difference to all of the ones we've looked at so far. That's this one here. Because of this 8x on the right hand side, your first step could be to subtract 8x from both sides. On the left hand side, when we do 6x subtract 8x, we get negative 2x. Then we have plus 17, and on the right hand side the 8x's will cancel, so we just have plus 3, or 3. Now this is absolutely fine, and you can solve the equation in this way. However, we end up with this negative 2x here, which isn't as nice as when it's a positive. So there is another approach that I would recommend for an equation like this. Because the left hand side of the equation is equal to the right hand side of the equation, you could just write them the other way around. So instead of 6x plus 17 equals 8x plus 3, we could write 8x plus 3 equals 6x plus 17. The reason we ended up with that negative 2x before was because the 8x was greater than 6x, so we had more x's on the right hand side. If you have fewer x's on the right hand side, you won't end up with a negative. So because 6x is smaller than 8x, this one will work out okay. Now we can continue as we did before, but we're going to eliminate the 6x instead, by subtracting 6x from both sides. On the left hand side, 8x subtract 6x is 2x. Then we have the plus 3, and the 6x's will cancel, so we just have 17. 
Now we can solve as normal, because of this plus 3 here, we subtract 3 from both sides. This will give us 2x on the left hand side, and 17 subtract 3 is 14 on the right hand side. Then because of this 2 here, we divide both sides by 2. On the left hand side, 2x divided by 2 is 1x, and on the right hand side, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So the solution is x equals 7. Next we'll have a look at another equation that's slightly different in structure, this one here. So this time we have 4x on the left hand side and negative 3x on the right hand side. Remember we said in the last question that you want fewer x's on the right hand side. Now negative 3x is actually smaller than 4x, so this does work. But to eliminate a negative 3x, we're going to need to add 3x to both sides, and that's different to all of the questions we've done so far. On the left hand side, we do 4x plus 3x, which is 7x. Then we have the negative 13. And on the right hand side, negative 3x plus 3x is 0. So those terms cancel and we're left with 8. Then we solve in the usual way for a two step equation. We have subtract 13 here, so we will add 13 to both sides. This will cancel the 13s on the left hand side, so we just have 7x. And on the right hand side, 8 plus 13 is 21. Then because of this 7 here, we divide both sides by 7. 7x divided by 7 is 1x, and 21 divided by 7 is 3. So the solution to this one is x equals 3. And now we'll look at one final example. This equation is similar apart from there are brackets as well. We're going to start by expanding out the brackets on both sides. On the left hand side, we'll do 5 lots of x, which is 5x, 5 lots of negative 6, which is negative 30, and on the right hand side, 3 lots of x, which is 3x, and 3 lots of negative 4 is negative 12. From here we can just solve like we have done in the previous examples. We'll eliminate this 3x here by subtracting 3x from both sides. On the left hand side, 5x subtract 3x is 2x. Then we have subtract 30, and on the right hand side the 3x's will cancel, so we have negative 12. Then because of this subtract 30, we add 30 to both sides. On the left hand side the 30's will cancel, so we have 2x, and on the right hand side negative 12 plus 30 is positive 18. Finally, because of this 2, we divide by 2 on both sides. On the left hand side, 2x divided by 2 is 1x, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. So the solution is x equals 9. So if you have an equation with brackets on both sides, just expand the brackets first and then continue as normal. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and why not try the exam questions in this video's description.